What year is it? Good morning, little ones. Another new Sunday is here. And we're actually leaving on a trip tomorrow. It's been a little while again, but tomorrow we head back to the truck. Today, I guess we're just enjoying the, the wind. It's been very windy this fall. Have you guys noticed that too? It's been windy where you are too. It's extremely windy here all the time. Always windy. Well, it seems the weather has calmed down. It's calming down at least. So that's good. That's good. So, some news to share with you guys. Uh, it'll sort of tie into what we're doing today. Um, but uh, my dad is in the hospital right now. He had a mild heart attack. It's his second one. And uh, he said it's not as bad as the first one. It was very, very mild. But he, my mom took him into the hospital. Luckily, he was at home again. My mom took him into the hospital because he was having chest pains. And they did a bunch of tests. And they found out that uh, he had indeed had another mild heart attack. So, since uh, this sickness is still among us, uh, we're not allowed to go visit him in the hospital. And again, because this sickness is still among us, before they do an angiogram on him or go any further with the procedures that they need to to see if he needs stents again or not, uh, uh, they need to test him for the sickness. We're waiting on those results right now. So they they initiated the, or they did the test last week and we're, we're expecting them back on Tuesday, which should be tomorrow for you guys. Unfortunately, Canada does not have any rapid testing yet, like other countries do. So we still have to wait like two to three business days for results to come back. So in the meantime, they have them in isolation at the hospital, just in case, those guys are precaution, because bef like I said, before they can work on them, they have to rule that out. They have to wait for a negative to come back. So they're not letting us go visit him. Uh, the only people who go to see him are his specific, the specific nurses. And even they go to see him as, as little as possible and they have to wear the whole gown and stuff when they go in there. And he's all by himself. And he said the heart, the heart attack wasn't that bad at all. It was very small. Even like, like I said, even smaller than the first one. So he's doing fine. He's in good spirits. He's not in any pain. He's doing just fine. But I think it's the hardest part is uh, being alone. So the family decided that uh, we would, uh, or mom made this sign says, we love you. I'm not sure what it all says on there. And uh, we know which room dad is in in the hospital. And we're going to go stand out in the parking lot and call him from the parking lot and tell him to go to his window. And we're all going to be standing there holding up this poster, this banner saying that we love him and that uh, we support him and that he's not alone. So we're going to stand out in the parking lot for him. And I know he'll appreciate that. So they're going to be here actually any minute probably. And we're going to head over there and uh, hopefully make dad's day a little bit brighter. And then hopefully tomorrow or on Tuesday, we can get that negative result back so that he can go into Winnipeg, get the angiogram done, get all of that stuff out of the way and get the green light to continue on with life again. But the way the world is right now, there's so many extra steps you got to take and so many extra precautions you got to take that it, it, it can be really tough, especially the isolation. So. That's what we have planned for today. And then after that, we're going to go to their campsite and help mom clean up a little bit so that dad has one less thing to do when he gets out of there and uh, gets back to life. But just to clarify, we're expecting a negative result from the tests for the virus and the sickness. He doesn't have any, of sim any symptoms that relate to that whatsoever. They just have to do that as a precaution before they move forward with uh, other treatments for the mild heart attack that he had, but we're expecting them to come back negative. Here we go. <laughs> Rose couldn't make it, but that's okay. We'll yell extra loud for her.
So dad had sent us a picture of his view out of the hospital. So we're trying to determine which window he's in. He doesn't know we're here yet. Dad is in the hospital there. My sister is on the video chat with us. We can't come and visit you, but we, we did anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we can go closer, right? Eh? Yeah, I guess we can. We're like way out here. But you, you might have to <laughs> <laughs> There's Dad's view. Oh, can you see him? Oh. See this, Uncle Josh? So it's too bad that that's the way we have to visit in the hospital right. nowadays. Yeah, but hey, he was pretty psyched. So. Yeah, he was pretty excited. <laughs> and it worked out perfectly. The yeah. view was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So we got to go into admitting here. Mom is going to quickly run in uh, Dad's Bible for him to read. And what else were you going to drop and off? his jacket. And his jacket. Just in case he needs to go to Winnipeg yeah. for yeah. more tests. And then he's ready. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have a hard time being a passenger in a car. So just ways. Yeah, me too. I always like being in control. Yeah, I'm not a very good passenger. I just fly around if it's not me driving. I don't know why. Well, I, Dad is the smoothest driver because he's whether he's driving his little half ton or whether he's driving his big. So we're here at the campground. It's already all closed down. So we had to walk in. Mom knows the owners, they know we're here cleaning up. Gotta get it ready for winter. Season's over already. We had a, like I was showing you before, a really windy day and it's blown most of the leaves off already. I don't wanna say it, but you know what's coming. There's a farmer that emptied his barns probably about five minutes ago by the smell of it. That is fresh. <sighs> Farmers around here would say that smells like money. This is where we've been catching mice all the time. Oh, you got mice too? See, people have been worried about us having mice in our trailer where we have it. But you get them here too. Oh, you, get them you get them in storage, you get them everywhere. You just gotta... You get them in houses. Unless you live like in a cement city bunker yeah. and they probably find a way in there too oh, yeah. if you're underground then you get the rats but down here so our job for today is to tarp this thing looks like it's already tarped done yeah we got to put a tarp over it and we got to take their uh their smoker home looks a lot different in fall here eh you guys remember it during the summer? Yeah. And it's all been packed up already. Yeah. yeah, you can see your neighbors now pretty clearly. Couldn't couldn't see them in summer. I think that's a little be okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's about as wrapped up as we're gonna get it. Just 
Should be good for winter. All set, ready for spring. Mm -hmm. Now we just gotta fast forward through winter and skip that season. Yeah, I think that'll that'll work. Maybe, yeah. We put this here so we could line these up and see they line up up there, but they don't line up here. I would love to get a smoker too. Mm-hmm. Just to oh it smells like barbecue stuff. Oh yeah. Can you smell it? Oh, it smells good. So this has got to go home to their house. The barbecue's staying though? Yeah. This one's got to go home because this one's fancy. That new one is smoke for Thanksgiving. Oh, that's right. Okay. And here we go. Good thing it's got wheels on it. Oh, oh here it comes. I'd love one of these. This one's awesome. You can do it, your super sister. Super sister. <laughs> Five minutes. Okay, so I've got this. Washers are here. Okay, so I think it's just gonna stay there. Washers We've gotta put this canopy up. I hate carpal tunnel. You want me to do it? Yep. You wanna hold this one here? Yep. Shoot. Stupid wrist of all the weeks. Okay. I'm gonna take this out of here first before. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, come on, you made that look so easy. <laughs> How many geese breaks does it take to put up one canopy? Four. <laughs> That's all we got out here, so. Okay, so we can't be perfect at everything. I know, right? <laughs> We're already ridiculously yeah, good looking. <laughs> Very ridiculously go. good looking. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Those go down there. As soon as I see it, I'm like, oh, that's right. Oh, it should just look. Martin Jr. figures it out. Figures it out. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how guys do it, but does it? That's better go right against it, right? <laughs> Yeah, but then you put a recipe in front of some of these guys and they're like, hey? We got this. We got this. We'll show you up. What does whipped mean? Yeah, exactly. Bang. Stiff peaks. Okay, you can pull it up. Is that going to... Oh, it went back again. There we go. Oh, look at that! Very nice! I'm very excited! <laughs> oh, these things have to come out. Yeah. You see that on there? Yeah, this thing here, Mom? Oh. Yeah. Just flip that out. <laughs> but we are professionals. Absolutely. And then it just hooked up on top, right? Yippee! Is it hook up on top yet? I think so. Oh, there we go. It's all set. Why he has all these keys? Dad's janitor keys. <laughs> keys for everything. I know. <laughs> Somewhere in there, I've got to find this key. What's with all the vining? I should have brought some cheese for all this vine. How's it going, boys? Hey, let's let the little guys out first, okay? Diesel Chevy, stay. Stay. Let them. You ready? Ready? Okay, let's go. Oh boy. 
Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Where is she? I'm here too. Just letting you know, I'm here too. Oh, hey dad. Mom! Mom, 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 mom. Oh. Hey dad. Mom! I'm always number two. I raised him. Diesel, you love me, right? Easy. You love me? What you want? Chevy, don't yell in her face. Jeez. I will yell in your face if you yell in mine. Those are the rules. Come on, guys. So yeah, that's the that's the day. So we made Dad's day, made his day brighter by uh, showing up outside the hospital. There, we went and helped Mom clean up her campsite. Mom took us out for supper afterwards. So my belly's full, feeling good about the day. I wish dad wasn't stuck all alone, but you know, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. They'll get that negative result tomorrow or on Tuesday, and then he can go in for all the other tests that he needs to, and then be back to normal in no time. 